Say no. Boom. <laughs> okay. They don't know you like I know you. They never get to hold you. Girl, they just know to hold you. Your head try to control you. I try to tell them you an angel. So special, girl, you made me grateful. They don't know you like I know you. They never get to hold you. Girl, they just know to hold you. Your ex try to control you. I try to tell them you an angel. So special, girl, you made me grateful. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and do what the thing on the screen says. Click that big red button that subscribe. Make sure you hit that post notification bell. I'm just pointing because I'm assuming where it is. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Go ahead and comment down below. Comment anything you want. Make sure it's positive because it's only positive energy. Make sure, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe because you got to join the family. But... If you're already a part of the family, what's up? <laughs> got the emoji, what's up? <laughs> so yeah, you already know what I got for y'all boy today. Got a little story time. Story time shouldn't be too long. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was in my first car accident, so that's what I'm about to talk about. Y'all probably wondering what I'm talking about, like why am I doing a story time on a car accident? Well, I was four. And I don't know, I guess when I tell people a story, it's deep or whatever. So, I mean, take it how you want it. But, uh, yeah, I, comment down below and guess how many car accidents I've been in. And no, you don't get a hint. So, I'm about to get into the story time. Um, I don't even know how to start it. I guess I'm going to start at... Well, I was, I just, I turned four, obviously. And, um... I would say it was a couple months before I turned five. I think it was probably March or something like that. And you know, it was just a normal day. I don't even know where me and my mom were going. I think we were going, we were going somewhere, bro. <laughs> we were going somewhere. I think we were going to um, see somebody or something, some family or something like that. Or it might've been to like a doctor's appointment or something. I don't even know. But so basically, Early morning, you know, do the same old, same old. Woke up, you know, washed off, brushed my teeth, did all that. I'm four now. Remember that, I'm four. So, obviously, my mom was, like, helping me get ready and all that. That's what four-year-olds do. <laughs> and, you know, it was a normal day. It wasn't, I don't think it was raining. It was cloudy. It wasn't super sunny, though. And, you know, she, we got outside after we got ready, did all that stuff. You know, brush your teeth, get right, all that. And we got outside. And... I remember my mom was talking to her so because when she like she started the car and I think she turned the heat on or something, you know, because obviously a certain time of the year, season and stuff, it get cold, it get warm, like y'all know. And I remember she said something to herself and like she was talking to somebody and she was like, I don't know if I'm gonna put him in a car seat. And like obviously I always sat in a car seat because I mean I was four. And basically she put me, so the car seat was in the middle. And she put me, like, actually on next to the car seat. She didn't put me in the car seat. And so she did that. And then she went back inside for something. She had to go get something. After that, you know, she came back, got back in the car. She came back, got back in the car. And she, uh, you know, backed up, you know, how you do when you drive. <laughs> and she drove down the road and left the house. Went up, passed a couple stop signs, you know, and then we turned out the neighborhood. And so when you come up my neighborhood, or where I was, my home, my my home neighborhood, drive a little bit further down, and there's an intersection, and then you got Wendy Sphinx, and then you got the Gables and all that, Saddlebrook, that's what I call it. And then, if you, you y'all know what I'm talking about, if you from my area, you know that. And then there's another intersection where you got D Road, and then you got like, McDonald's right there, and you got freaking, um, like that whole shopping center with Publix and all that. Then you got, I think it's Circle K or something like that. I don't know. But, <laughs> so yeah, we got, my mom told me it happened at the first intersection. I really believe it happened at the McDonald's one, but it was, they're right down the road from each other. But she claimed it happened at the 
Wendy's and the Patriot Boulevard and all that. I don't know. I'm assuming I'm going to just go with her. So, yeah. Basically, what I remember is... Because I was four now, so obviously... <laughs> I ain't going to remember 100% of everything. But what I do remember is... I remember being in a car. And... Something came on the station. And this is why I think it happened at the second intersection. Not the first. Not the Patriot Boulevard one, but the D Road and... um. McDonald's and all that and um near that intersection. The reason I think it happened there is because I remember when we were about to we were turning and it was right in front of McDonald's. And next thing you know, we get T bone just a <laughs> collision. And you know, I was four at the time. I don't I didn't cry, which is surprising. All that. Um so we got hit. She pulled, my mom was driving, it was, we wasn't in the wrong, it was green light, we was driving, she was turning, and you know, it was like, I think it's, I think that intersection, like a three lane intersection, three or four, I think it's three, and then you got a turning lane, and then you got these three, and then you, two go straight, and then there's another turning lane, where you can go out, you go left, and we were turning left, next thing you know, boom, <laughs> car just smack us, T-bone, and, I remember when I, like, cause, you know, when you get in a car accident, your eyes be, like, shaking, you know? You have, like, <laughs> like, you, it closed. Like, my eyes closed and I, like, I blinked, you know what I'm saying? So it was, like, a instant thing. And we got hit. And I remember looking. And, like, it was smoking and all kind of stuff like that. Comment down how many, com <laughs> comment down below how many times I say and, cause <laughs> I'm saying and too much. But anyway... We got hit, and I remember looking, it was smoky, and it was really foggy outside, because like I said, it was cloudy and all that, and I remember, the, <laughs> I said that again, to add on, <laughs> I remember seeing uh, the airbags and stuff like that come out, and from my mom account, she told me that when she got hit, well, when we got hit, that her, apparently, like, she went sideways and then went forward or something, and her head, uh, like the airbag came out and then like her head hit the steering wheel or something like that. And then she got burns from the airbag actually. It's not like third degree burn, like you can notice it and all that now, I don't think. But it was just like, she got burned from the airbag or something like that, I guess cause it was hot. And yeah, we got hit. And why people claim this story, like when I tell them, they say it's deep and all that, which I believe it is deep. If you're a spiritual person, you'll see why in a second. So basically, once we got hit, everything happened so fast, dude. It was like a flash. But this is like the number one thing I still got embedded into my brain. Like I actually remember, I remember a woman came out of nowhere, like absolutely out of nowhere. They didn't know the lady, nothing like that. We were at the intersection and obviously we stopped the intersection because we were on the car accident. Like, bam, you know, all kind of crazy stuff like that. And I'm sitting in a smoking car with my mom and I'm four. So... Some lady ran up to my mama, and I remember it so, like, it was just her, like, so vividly. And I was four now, so just think about it, like, trauma. But anyway, so, went up to my mom's window. She was like, hey, are you okay, blah, 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 talking to my mama, asking she all right and all that. And then my mama said, I remember my mom saying, I'm fine, but my son in the back. And then the lady asked, oh, he's on the car seat. And, like, she already knew. She didn't really ask. She said it like she already knew, which is weird. And my mom was like, yeah, and because the car seat, so when we got hit, what I didn't say, when we got hit, the car seat actually, like, was unfastened and all that from, like, the thing. I don't know. We must have got hit really freaking hard or whatever. But the car seat was, like, not, it wasn't tight, tight enough, like, you know, for when we got hit, it wouldn't have, you know, gotten hinged or whatever. And the lady was like, okay, well, I'm going to help you out, and I'm going to put him in the car seat. So, you, you know, you don't get in trouble with the law or anything like that, like cops or nothing like that. Because the cops were always going to be like, well, why was he in the car seat to begin with? So, lady came back to me, blah, blah, blah. She was saying hi to me, you know what I mean? Are you okay? You know all that. Pick me up. You know how females act with, like, little kids and all that. Like, how people act with little kids. Dude. You got to have a little baby voice and all that. Like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> She grabbed me, and I remember her putting me in a car seat, and she, like, tightened it, and then she, like, you know, 
security and buckled me and all that. And I remember after that, she like, she said something, she said one more thing to my mom, but I don't remember that part. And she was gone. She wasn't there when the cops came, the ambulance came, none of that. She was gone. And when everybody, like the cops and them asked, people around the situation, the cops asked them questions, all kind of stuff. Everybody said that the lady was, they never saw a lady. They didn't see anybody help us or go to the car. Like nobody came up to the car. That's what everybody says. Everybody says that it just happened and then the cops came. Then obviously the other, the person that hit us, I'm pretty sure it was a female, but um, the person that hit us, you know, they were, I mean, they talked to my mom and all that, but the lady who was, who actually came to help us, we, everybody around me told me, and I believe there's a guardian angel, just because of the fact, like, nobody said they, like, nobody saw him, the lady that hit us said that they didn't see her, and we all just think it was a guardian angel, and she vanished, the cops came, ambulance came, I remember us, uh, getting an ambulance, all that, and then I definitely remember us when we went to the hospital, and... My mom was talking to the lady at the, like, the receptionist at the desk or whatever, the assistant or whatever, and, excuse me, and she was just saying, like, she was telling the lady that she had, like, burns on her arm, and I remember my mom almost, she had, like, burns, like, forearm area, just from the airbags and stuff like that, and me, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't touched, like, I had no scratch, I probably had, probably had a couple scratches, like, two or three scratches, but I wasn't, like, badly hurt, which is a blessing, but... The reason I say it's a guardian angel though is because my mom said, every time she tell me the story, we talk about it, she always tells me, that day, something told me not to put you in the car seat in the middle. Reason is, come to find out after we, like, you know, they went through all the thing, the car accident, the raw, the paperwork, all that crap, lawyers, cops, all that, ambulance, hospital. Come to find out the way that we got hit, if, like, the way we got T-bone, if I was in the car seat at that time, I would have flew through the windshield, and four-year-old going through a windshield, glass, hitting the pavement, and probably end up getting hit in another car or something like that. Imagine that. Don't imagine that. It's probably horrific. But, <laughs> like, I would have died. So, long story short, we just, I, I honestly believe, like, I, f I feel like, I, you know, like, I'm here for a reason, bro. Like, it's not, you can't just tell me, oh, I was in a car accident when I was four, and my, some told my mom, don't put him in the middle. Of, like, don't put him in the middle. Some of y'all may think that's just a coincidence. But if you faithful, if you spiritual, my, my foot itching, guys, my bad. If you spiritual, you just, you, it's, it's just that thing, bro. Like, God is, God do everything for a reason. So, ever since that, I mean, <laughs> I hear thunder. Y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it was thunder. Um, but yeah, I just take that story as like, I put it right here on me, like a chip, just so, like I'm here for a reason. So, yeah, I could have died, you know, could have died, guys, when I was four. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, that, that's basically like the story of my first car accident. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I covered everything, could have died, went through the windshield, blah, blah, blah. And ultimately, we got some, we got some money for the car accident. It wasn't. Wasn't a little hundred thousand. I mean, I wish it was a hundred thousand, but it wasn't no hundred thousand. It was it was some money, but it wasn't a lot. But um, yeah, I'm thankful for that because my mom's spiritual woman, faithful and all that. That's where I get my faith and all that from. So always listen to your parents, bro. If they if sometimes they may be wrong, but most of the time they're right. I'll admit that because there's some things my mom and my dad told me that they were actually right on and like really right on. So. Right on. <laughs> Y'all hit an ice cream truck? Alright. So, yeah. That's the end of the story. Um, yes, I am a walking, walking legend. Let me chill out. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's the end of the story, guys. Told you it wasn't going to be too long. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down if you ever had a... I guess you... Not a near-death experience, but, like, if you are, how many cars since you've been in? Like, have you ever been in, like, a... Like, what's the worst thing you experienced or something like that? Just comment down below. Let us know. We can talk. And um, comment down below if y'all want some more story times because there's a few more, you know. 
got got some story times we can tell. Um, some story times we can tell. We got some stories we can tell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share with your people. We need to get some more exposure. So make sure y'all boys subscribe and share with your people. You gotta subscribe first. The like and the comment. Yeah, you do that too. But you gotta share. You gotta share. You share. You see that? S H A R E. Yeah, share. Okay, thank you. What a hammer. Put a nail in it, you know. Boom, boom. Share. And, um, yeah. We're gonna see. Well, I'm gonna see y'all next time. We need uh, Lindsay in here with me. But, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all next time. So, uh, bye. Take you to mall, buy you whatever you want. I buy you each and the wrong. Take you to mall, buy you whatever you want. I buy you each and the wrong. Take you to mall, buy you whatever you want. I buy you each and the wrong. Take you to mall, buy you whatever you want.